Hi everyone and greetings from this virtual new academic building at the LSE. This is a short video to introduce you to some of the various ways that you could record asynchronous lecture content or class content. One of the problems with Zoom and also Echo 360 is that people tend to interact mostly with the shared screen and so it's very difficult to see what's going on with the presenter as they often appear to be quite a small box at the top of the screen. It's very difficult to see things like facial expressions, hand gestures that we would normally um, use when we're delivering content like a lecture. So um, this video uh, looks at a few alternatives, including Loom.com, where you can appear in a small circle or a slightly larger circle, maybe. Prezi Video, where you can have your material appear in front of you, like so. and OBS Studio, where you can have your presentation materials appear behind you. This is Loom. It has a few advantages over Zoom as far as the inset picture is concerned with the video feed of the presenter. You can see here that I'm appearing in a little circle at the bottom left of the screen. There is some flexibility on where this appears. I can move this pretty much wherever I want, top right, center right, bottom right. I'll take it back to the bottom left. And also you can change the size of the circle as well. So with the larger circle, um, you can really clearly see the presenter. It allows for a little bit more interaction with the material. I could point to things, they can see my hand gestures, they can see my facial expressions. You can also um, make yourself uh, full screen if you wanted to as well, uh, when you're directly addressing the audience and you don't need to use your slides. And you can quite easily switch between the different modes um, in Loom. This is Prezi Video. It allows you to have material appear in front of you, like so. Clearly allowing a lot more interaction with your material um, than the insets of Zoom and Loom. You can make the material go full screen, like so. And it's also possible to import PowerPoint presentations if you wanted to and make them appear as slides in your Prezi. So this is my PowerPoint presentation from earlier. You can choose to zoom in and out of the slides depending on the amount of detail that's contained on the slides. If you use quite a bit of small writing, it's probably necessary to zoom into the slides before zooming back to the presenter view. Um, if your slides are slightly simpler and use larger font sizes, you could probably uh, manage with just having these things appear on the screen. This is open broadcasting software or OBS. And this enables you to record a video that appears a little bit more like how you might appear in the real world lecture theater or classroom. Here I've got my presentation behind me and so I can point to it just like I would uh, in a real classroom. You can run the PowerPoint presentation from the PowerPoint software. So as I click through these slides, uh, it, it acts just like um, PowerPoint. All of the animations work the same as you can see here with the fancy animations. And um, also a real advantage of this software is the ability that to include the embedded videos that you might have um, in your PowerPoint presentations as well. These work really well um, with, with OBS. So you can see the, the video material um, coming through quite clearly on the screen behind me. I can use my keyboard um, or my mouse. So it's very similar to um, the real classroom. And um, there are a few other extra things you can do with this software. I can move myself around, for example, um, and make myself appear on the edge of the presentation uh, and carefully position the framing of um, the webcam. I can also change the position of the PowerPoint presentation itself or make it larger and, uh, and smaller as well. It's very easy to change the, the virtual background. Here I'm in the new academic building at the LSE, but all of these things can be, um, can be changed. Of course, the, this particular software does require a, a green screen if you want to have this, um, this background functionality. So plenty of things you can do. Uh, this is probably the most versatile software and produces an effect that um, is very similar to the real world situation if that's what you're hoping to achieve. 